Hi everyone! As promised, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Bath & Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Um, it's really easy. Um, it only costs pennies. And um, the first thing that you need is you need a Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. Like, just buy one and use it so that you have one of these containers. Because this is actually a special container that turns the um, soap into the foam when it comes out. There's like a special pump on here. So first you're just going to need one of these. Okay. Then you are going to need a shower gel. I have a fresh picked tangerines shower gel here to match my fresh picked tangerines. But you can put any scent in, you know, any bottle. Doesn't really matter. Um, so what you're going to do is, this is actually a really easy thing. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have probably thought about it, but I just thought I would make this video in case you haven't thought about it and it saves a lot of money <laughs> and it actually works exactly like the foaming hand soaps from Bath & Body Works and smells exactly like them. It smells nice and strong when it's done. Um, okay, let me go ahead and put this in the sink. I will get started doing this. I guess if I set this back here it might work. Let me see. Yep, okay. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to put a little bit, I'll turn it sideways so you can see how much, just a little bit of the Fresh Picked Tangerines shower gel on the bottom. Let's see, a little bit more than that I think. Okay, that's good. Another thing that's good about this is you can make any scent that you want that they have a shower gel in. So even if they don't make a foaming hand soap in your favorite scent, you can make it yourself. Okay. Then you are going to scoot this over. Um, fill it with, I would fill it with warm water because I think that that makes it um, mix easier. Okay, so first I'm just going to fill it like halfway because if you fill it all the way up in the beginning, um, it won't mix well. See all those shower gels on the bottom? So you're going to want to like some air in there so that it can shake around. Okay, let me get this cap the cap on. Okay, then you're just going to give it a good shake until the shower gel is mixed all in the water very well. Okay, and then for the rest of it, you're going to just fill it up. I usually wait until the bubbles go down a little bit before I start filling it up again, but for the purposes of this video to get it done quickly, I will fill it up with the bubbles in there. <laughs> Just have to clean them off at the end. Okay. Just add a, take a little out of there. Usually I don't waste any of the bubbles. I just wait until they go down, but there we go. Screw the lid back on. Rinse it off. And you have your own gentle foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how this works. It look it works exactly like the foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. Once it starts going, there we go. Exact same thing. Very nice. I love this stuff. Okay. And right now there's a little bit of bubbles on the top, like I said before, but that will settle down. And just to show you what it looks like when it settles down, I made a lemon vanilla one earlier before I started filming this video. Um, since they don't have the lemon vanilla scent in, you know, foaming hand soaps. And this is what it looks like. When you're done, it looks just like the foaming hand soaps from Bath & Body Works. Once all the bubbles settle. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, I should also say, they just made the fresh-picked heirloom cranberries <laughs> um, in a shower gel. So I am definitely, I'm going to buy one of the bottles of the fresh-picked heirloom cranberries foaming hand soap and then I'm after I'm done with that I am definitely going to get the shower gel and be really refilling myself some bottles for cheap so um anyways thank you for watching um please comment rate and subscribe and um I will talk to you guys later bye